hello hello dreamers and welcome back to dream queen by perla as always guys thank you for your love and support thank you for liking sharing and subscribing to the channel and if you haven't done so i encourage you to do so it helps with growing the channel getting the video out there for more people as well as keeping you accountable for personal readings all that information can be found down below in the description so let's go ahead and let's see what do we have for leo this week what are you afraid of <laughs> And, and don't come with that BS that you don't fear anything. That fear is uh, it's part of nature. Um, it's it's part it, it's it's part of it's it's part of the experience, right? And, and it's not so much the the fear itself um, that determines or dictates who you are. It is what you do when when it comes up, right? So. Um, what is it that you are afraid of this week? And don't lie to yourself. There, There is an accepting or an acknowledging of something that brings um, some type of fear. Um, whether that is um, accepting that a, a relationship, whether it's romantic, platonic, work, whatever, is has ended and there there may be fear of what it's next or what what comes after right um or is this it type of thing and, and needing not to not to try to rush it under the rug but instead allow yourself and i know you're 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 gonna be pissed but you have to allow yourself the the chance to feel um, a lot of you, um, Leos, when, whenever the sensation of fear comes through, you you run away in the net, in the other direction. So you haven't learned how to cope with with certain feelings or certain emotions. Um, you you rarely. You rarely allow yourself to to cry. You see crying or um, feeling some type of way over situations as a weakness. Um, again, this can be either because this is what was told to you or whatever. But um, at the end of the day, your your feelings are valid, right? And the more you try to push away that you try to suppress certain feelings or certain emotions or whatever the the more with the vengeance let's put it this way they come when they resurface right so there there is a sense of not fearing your not don't allow yourself to fear going into places that make you weak because in reality they're not making you weak they're making you uh, they're making you vulnerable but it's not vulnerable to other people hurting you or anything like that it's vulnerable to allow you to get clarity from within because it's almost kind of like okay let's put it this way you put up this shield right or you put up these walls when it comes to other people right because of past experiences right so because you're because you have set up these walls okay i'm trying to put it into words because you have put up these war walls against other people you unconsciously put up those walls within yourself to yourself so your 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 into it like your higher self let's put it this way is trying to it it, it, it kind of like jumps trying to like peek through the wall or like hey hey leo leo can we deal with this can we deal with this and it's like you just make the wall higher right so you have not allowed yourself that space to really um, heal from 
from past situations now when i talk about healing we're not talking about this superficial like oh it's okay they did me wrong no it's about allowing yourself to feel what you have to feel and allowing yourself to forgive the other person and forgive yourself as well right um and allow yourself to to be okay with the fact that maybe at that time during that situation you didn't know better whether it was because of your age whether because of the experience or whatever it was you didn't know better so it is okay yeah that does not take away from the fact that somebody did you wrong that does not take away from the fact that the other person was in the wrong or the situation was wrong that's not what i'm saying here what i'm saying here is that the the not dealing with situations from your past be little by little it, it becomes like this oversized backpack that you don't see but that really holds you down because then anytime any new opportunity presents itself fear of either getting hurt or fear of people doing you the same way or whatever it is stops you from growing from evolving now if you're completely comfortable with how it is now right and you don't aspire for more in life whether that is um so like within your own self-growth or within like your financial situation relationship situation whatever it is then by all means remain doing the same thing putting up these walls and ignoring your feelings but if if you are at that point where you it, it's almost kind of like and i was talking to somebody about this where there may it, it almost kind of feels like there's a void that wants to be filled but you're too afraid to allow yourself to to fill it because you're still holding on to unresolved issues right and forgiving someone doesn't mean that you allow them back into your life forgiving someone does not mean that you minimize what was done and it does not make an excuse for for the actions or whatever it is that they did to you it is that you're no longer energetically attached to the situation from that aspect right from that perspective but instead you use the situation as a learning experience so let's go ahead and let's pull out some tarot so we have the death card we have the two of swords is in the top what do we have in the middle the king of pentacles in the reverse so some something something has to be has to be put to rest and whatever this is for you um whether you realize it or not has been affecting your either your finances or your your living situation your security within yourself and you're being asked not to be blinded to this anymore and not to not to keep on not to keep on practicing superficial healing and for those of you that know what i mean you know and if you don't it when the time is when the time is right for you it will become clear so let's go ahead and let's pull out a love card what is in the love what is it what is the energy for love so we have unrequited love now this can be um within a relationship um whether it's family um romantic platonic whatever there is not enough attraction and chemistry to keep this relationship going so there's something that you're being asked to let go of again this this notion of not wanting to be vulnerable this notion of not wanting to feel this notion of um not wanting to allow yourself to to express your feelings um and a lot of this is um personally uh, meaning it's not about you crying in front of people it's like you won't even allow yourself to cry in front of yourself like you stop yourself from crying. I don't know about you, but crying, I love that. I, 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 I love to cry whether, you know, it's a happy or whether I am processing something because it is a form of release, right? And, and a lot of times, you know, 
for years um i would have people tell me like oh hey, why are you crying this and this and this and that like you know because when when i would argue with people in the past i would get so emotional that i would literally start crying and, and it's not so much out of like um feeling sorry for myself but like when i get extremely emotional whether it's anger whether it's happiness whether it's sadness whatever it is um the tears would just start coming down and 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 for a very long time i had to defend that aspect of myself right and being like you know what but this is me like you know and and, and people never really liked that the fact that i was okay with crying when i get angry i was okay with crying when i get happy and because they themselves were not comfortable with being that vulnerable with themselves. So we're going to go ahead and want to pull out an oracle card for your closing. And we have the wolf. Somebody else had this. The number 44. Um, devour the ferocious calling within the hallowing of your spirit. Run wildly into the freedom of your knowing. So if you feel like you are trapped, if you feel like you want to free yourself, if you feel like you want more out of life, the only thing to do is to go within love. That is all that I have for you for this week. Sending every single one of you love, strength, and blessing, guys. Take care. Love you all. Bye-bye.